I have gathered all of you today, all 47 of you that watch my videos today, because it is a very special day today. Today is my birthday! <laughs> So for today's video, I present to you 18 things I did at 18. So number one, while I was 18 and I still live with my parents. Yeah, they're not like yours. No, but while I was 18, I was still in high school. And I definitely found the group of people that I belonged to, which was my school student council. And I also low-key met the bestest friends my entire life. So guys, if any of you are watching, Number two. Also back in April, I got the chance to go to the TASC State Annual Conference. And let me tell you about it. We spent the whole weekend together. At the conference, we went to Six Flags, and we literally adventured Arlington. It was one of the best few days of 2017 for sure. However, it was also a roller coaster of emotions because I knew that that was gonna be my last conference as a student and that I would never go back to another TASC conference. So at the moment the conference was adjourned, we started bawling our eyes out. It was such a beautiful experience, like, I love all my friends. Number three, also back in April, I went to my senior prom where let's just say that my friends and I had a lot of fun. Too much fun, if you know what I mean. However, the night was high key, the best night of my entire senior year. Numero cuatro. Since we're speaking of prom, your boy got senior duke, Hey, Mainly because no one ran against me. But I like to believe that if another dude ran against me, I'd still win. Back in June, I graduated high school. It was a milestone that I was so happy to accomplish because I accomplished my goals. My goals were to graduate with a 4.0 GPA and the top 10% of my class. Which, let me tell you, I did both. Walking across the stage to receive my diploma, it was such a surreal experience. After I graduated high school, my best friends and I went to our senior trip across the world to Cancun, Mexico. We had always talked about having a senior trip once we all graduated high school. So getting the chance to go to one of the most beautiful beaches in Mexico, it was a dream come true. My senior trip was definitely hands down the best week of my entire life. Because let's face it, who gets to go to Mexico with their best friends for an entire week? week and spend it doing beach summer activities speaking of which I vlogged my trip there will be a playlist up here or down there so go check it out shameless plug so while on the senior trip a lot happened like number seven for example I got to go on my first plane ride of my life it was my first time traveling in a plane I was low-key anxious but once we were off the ground in the air I think I got over it also number eight coming to you from Cancun I finally completed something on my actual bucket list something that I've always wanted to try which was to snorkel in the ocean I went snorkeling in the ocean with real fish we saw all kinds of fish and they got so close it was beautiful I touched a couple of fish also in Cancun I rode a giant banana in the ocean and I went in the coldest water of my life to go in underground caves and an underground river it was amazing but not even kidding that water was so cold Number 10, I jumped into a sinkhole with no fear in the world. I, I just went for it. I, I just went for it. Not like some other of my friends, Miriam. Get it? Cause I'm not gonna do this again. Andale. Coming in at number 11, I visited one of the eighth wonders of the world, Chichen Itza. The pyramid was so beautiful and it looked even more beautiful at night because we got to go at night. And we experienced a show that I don't even know how to explain. They made the pyramid into a movie, like presentation kind of thing. It was inter it was it was amazing. However, at number 12, not everything while I was 18 was so enjoyable. I spent more than 10 hours stranded in an airport overnight. From 1 a.m. To 3 p.m. we were at the airport we were stranded tired basically dead most of us didn't even sleep and there was no working electricity outlets Mexico City Airport me and you need to have a talk about your electricity because we struggled so much to charge all of our technology because I'm not kidding you none of the outlets in this entire airport worked we even got into some little arguments because we found one outlet that worked Julian, you guys fix your problem. It's me and Eileen. Julian, when the hell did you 
Yes, yes, when we're in Nickelodeon. Taking it off. Ah, fun times. Since I vlogged the Cancun trip, I figured I might as well just post it on my YouTube channel and expose my YouTube channel to everyone. I started my YouTube channel back in my sophomore year, but this year, I decided to take it a little bit more seriously. My biggest dream has always been to become an influencer and make a positive impact in this world. So shout out to the 44 of you that watch my videos on a constantly basis. You all are the real ones. Number 14. While I was 18, we continued the family tradition to go on the Disney family trip to Disneyland! In this family, we take Disney very seriously. However, this year we almost didn't make it because my tires were broken. But we made it to Disney! Once in Anaheim, we spent three days in Disneyland, which was literally amazing because we got to enjoy both parks at our own pace with no feeling to be rushed. In addition, going to Disneyland also, I think, made me realize what I want to do in the future. Number 16. While in Cali, we went to Downtown Disney, and as a form of relaxation, we helped organize the Lego store. After seeing one of the employees organizing the small Lego figurines, my family and I decided to just to help him organize it so we literally cleared and organized an entire table and more sad and depressing news I started college which at the moment is not going so good I hate it oh don't even get me started on college rant coming soon to my youtube channel so stay tuned for that but if it was up to me trust me I drop out get the fuck out grab my shit and move to LA youtuber dreams am I right and last but not least number 18 I got my first job ever so I got a job at CJ Dime and I honestly love it. I have made new friends, making bank, and I love the environment. But yeah, of course, more than just 18 things happened this year, but I feel like these 18 things were the highlights of my year. Like if there was a rewind, these would take up the most space in that rewind. Being 18 was definitely better than being 17. We'll just have to wait to see what 19 brings at me. Here is to the year 19 and all the adventures that await. Goodbye.